Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number two of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four expressions here. Remember, expression is just a, a value, even can include operations. It does not have an equal sign. So these are all expressions rather than equations because there are no equal signs. All right, so we need to use our order of operations. So hopefully, we're saying this to ourselves, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally PEMDAS. Maybe you think of it in a different way. Uh, so what we do first is we take care of any parentheses. I'm going to draw a line here because that's kind of our first step. And so take a look. I've got a parentheses in all four of my answer selections. So I need to take care of any operations first. Now, in each of these parentheses, I've only got one operation. So I've got a subtraction, subtraction, and then I've got two additions. Sometimes you might have a parenthesis that's kind of expanded, right? So you might have something like 3 plus 4 times 2 or something inside the parentheses. If you do, within that parenthesis, you still need to use the order of operations. But since there's only one operation inside each parenthesis, we're definitely going to do that first. Next, we would do exponents, but we really don't get into that much in fifth grade. That's more of a sixth grade thing. And then this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So multiply and divide are inverse operations. That means they are equal. They're the opposite of each other. And you notice this line here puts them in that same category. So that's that third step. What this means is that these two can actually um, be on the same level. So I can actually divide before I multiply if I'm moving from left to right because they're equal to each other. Same with these final two. Add, subtract. They are actually equal. And I can actually subtract before I add. So there's really just four levels here, even though there's six things listed, because multiply and divide are equal, add and subtract are equal. They're inverse operations. All right, so let's simplify here. So I need to go ahead and take care of all of my parentheses first. So I've got 36 minus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that first. So 36 minus 3, that's going to be 33. So really what that leaves is this 33 times four. All right, so that's just going to be a two by one. So that is going to be 12, 12, wow, 132. So that is nowhere near uh, 24. So I think that might be my answer because I'm looking for the one that does not have the value of 24. But obviously we're going to go ahead and just double check our work. So let's look at this next one. Eight times and then or two times eight plus four. So you take care of the parentheses first, right? So your eight plus four is gonna make your 12. So then I've got my two times 12. Okay, so that's 24. So that does make 24, which means I don't want it. Remember, I'm looking for the one that does not have the value of 24. Okay, and then let's see, I've got my parentheses first, 12 minus eight. It's going to be 4. All right, so 96 divided by 4. Probably going to be 24. But let's see. 4 goes into 9 twice. It's 8. Yes. Okay. So there we go. All right, so that's also 24, which means I don't want it. And then I've got my 40 plus 8. That's 48. Cut in half, divided by 2. Yeah, that's definitely 24. Okay, so you notice how B, C, and D all equal 24. That's what I don't want. See, here's here's the tricky thing here, right? So obviously we multiply before we subtract. So this is what this one's trying to do. This 36 minus 3 times 4. So what if we just ignored the parentheses? Well, if the parentheses were gone, then I would need to multiply first, right? It would need to be 36 minus and then 3 times 4 is 12. That's where the 24 comes in, but the parentheses changes it. We have to do that first, the 36 minus 3. So my answer here is A.